Is your only Christmas tree decoration a pumpkin made by a five-year-old? Well, don't fret. You can make your own decorations. How about a steampunk airship? Even better than a pumpkin. Hi, my name is Chris, and I like to make things. Today we're going to make a steampunk airship Christmas tree decoration. All right, print out the pattern and cut out the pieces carefully. Trace the pattern pieces onto your foam, making sure to mark all the alignment points. Mark the creases on piece 5, the lines on piece 6, and the lines on the fins. Grab a very sharp knife and cut your pieces from the foam, cutting directly over top of the pen line. Once all the pieces are cut out, grab a silicone baking sheet and your glue gun. Start by gluing just the tips of the eight body pieces together. You may notice there's a gap once all eight pieces are together. That's okay, just put some glue on it and force it closed. Now start gluing the strips together in sets of two. The key to successfully using hot glue and thin foam is to glue a short section at a time and then hold it down against the silicone baking mat until it cools. If you do end up with extra glue on the outside, you can use the side of the tip of your glue gun to smooth it out. Glue the two sets of two together, and then glue those two halves together. The last seam is pretty tricky because you don't have the silicone mat to act as a backing, but do your best. Once it's together, clean up some of those funky seams with your glue gun. Looking super. Now go find something round that you can form the nose dome with. Heat up the foam with your blow dryer, and then form it over the ball. Obviously, the smaller the ball shape, the more domey the dome. A bit of glue, and there's your airship body. And now it's toothpick time! You can glue the toothpicks onto the wings to look like little struts. You can cut the toothpicks to the right size with a nice pair of scissors. I'm using super glue here because it's quick and easy. Add struts to both sides of each fin. To finish it off, we'll cut a 6mm foam disc and glue that over the point where the struts meet. Punch out two 12mm discs and stack them up on the back of the body. Position the prop so that each blade of the prop lines up with one of the seams on the body. And one more disc gets glued on the outside. Now glue your main fins onto the top and bottom seams, and your side fins on the side. Now it's time to work on the gondola section. Crease piece 5 along the lines, and use your pen to create some seams and rivets on piece 6. Line up a corner of piece 6 with a crease on piece 5, and glue the gondola together like this. And glue the little prop on the front. We're going to make some tiny little rivets using the head of a needle. So, mix your two-part epoxy together and use your sewing needle to apply it to the gondola straps. Once the epoxy is dry, you can glue the straps on in their position, remembering that the longer strap goes in the front. Now it's time to create the portholes. I used a 12mm punch for the outside and then a 6mm punch on the inside. Again, using the handy dandy pen to make some rivet marks. Slide the gondola into position so you can figure out where to glue the portholes. I used super glue to glue them into place. Remove the gondola and apply your little rivets along each seam of the body. We'll make a tube for the smokestack by rolling up piece 13 and gluing it. Cut the tube at an angle and glue it back together so it forms an L shape. Trim it to the length you want with a pair of scissors. And once again, it's time to paint it black. I am painting the pieces separately, so I'll get a better finish with the metallic wax paste when I apply it. You'll also note that there are some places I haven't painted, and that's because I'm going to be using glue there later. For my second coat, I'm going to be painting the fins and the gondola and the props brown. Once the glue is dry, you can put on a rubber glove, grab some metallic wax paste, and apply it to your airship any way you like. If you get some in places you don't want, you can just paint over it. I am using DecoArt Metallic Luster Champagne Ice for the nose dome, fin struts, portholes, and gondola body. Now we're ready to slide the gondola into place and glue it up. To make a loop for hanging, cut a porthole in half and glue it to the center of the rear strap. Finish everything off by painting the hanging loop 
applying metallic wax paste to the straps and gluing the smokestack into place. So there you go, little airship. It looks super cute. And steampunk. So this Christmas tree ornament has kind of been our family's nemesis Christmas tree ornament since 1976. My sister made it. It is a pumpkin for Christmas and it is really heavy in it. Any, any um, branch you put it on just goes down to the bottom. Boom.